for everyday Oakland unicorn person who was actually born, raised here, left, came back because my home called me and was like, I am in trouble. Like the spirit of the Bay called me and was like, I need my people home. And the part of that that's relevant about this to me is that in what everybody is saying, this is about how we live, y'all. This is about what we prioritize each and every day. It's about what we prioritize when we speak to other people. Are we actually really listening when somebody is like, man, I had a horrible day today. Or do you just go, yeah, everybody's got a horrible day. Whatever, keep it moving. Or do you take the time to stop and be with that person? Be a human with that person? Because that, for me, like Oakland, of course, has always been a complicated place. This country has always been a complicated place. This conversation, like, not to dismiss that at all, it didn't start with the Black Panthers. People have always been saying this every single day since this shit started hundreds of years ago. Every single day since then, somebody has been saying it. Did you listen? Did you take what they said to heart and change the way that you live? Because that's what creates this. It's the ways that we live. It's culture. So that's one thing. The other thing is also just like that culture is the way we think about things, right? Like this was a culture of slavery, but there have never been slaves. There's always only enslaved people. Always only enslaved people. And when you remember that there are always people, those cops are people. They're messed up. They see crazy stuff every day and they go out and they act out on it because they need somebody to listen to. And pain just spreads. That's what it does. And unless we create a culture of healing, which is part of what I understand Oakland to be, that's how I try to stay up and be in alignment with what Oakland means to me. And that's part of what scares me about gentrification is the culture that we will lose. And like, I'm a brother from New York, I'm sorry that you don't hear people talk to you because that's, I used to live in New York and that's what bothered me is I felt like everybody was Russian and I was like, man, at home, people are like, oh, I like your hat. Those are great shoes, you know, and just those moments of connecting and that changes your whole day. Yes, it does. This is like literally your physiology. If you are running on empathy, the same systems that run empathy in your body do not permit you to do violence. If you are receiving enough love and empathy from other human beings, you cannot do this. It is not physically possible. So I want you to think about that as you go through every single day and you see somebody that just looks like they're having a bad day. Because we got eyes. We can see other people and you see that and you just smile that changes things that's you know and that's something everybody can do it costs nothing you don't need anything other than everything that you already have so i just yeah that and thank you for everybody for being here too because that's also open thank you sis